Jesus Christ, I just tripped over a shoe. What's up guys, welcome to the vlog. Fuck me. This is uh, episode number one. Oh, that's too much. Look, that's gonna burn. Even if none of it looks good, well, I guess we'll just... I just came home to a bunch of stuff. God damn it. <laughs> Super excited, but uh, first things first, I don't have a mic. So I gotta go get one. But I kinda slacked off, so I'm gonna go borrow my friends until I can get back and uh, buy my own. So... Let's go do that. I made it. Yes, you did. Uh, there it is. There it is. You're a little dirty. Uh, we're... What are we doing? Uh, I've got the mic. Got a couple hours still before I need to leave, so I'm gonna eat some food, do a little... Yeah, all right. Gotta do some editing and get some food going, and uh, then we'll be ready to rock and roll. But first, I gotta get some coffee. There she is. And now she won't let go. All right, I've got about three hours to kill, so I think I'm gonna take just a little bit of that time and show you guys how to make my favorite vegan meal. And this actually tastes like super boring, so we're gonna put a little bit of hot sauce on there. All right, we're finally getting out of here. I'm leaving like two hours later than I wanted to uh, because I was working on this cinemagraph. Pretty cool, huh? Well, it's finally finished, so I'm getting out of here. I've got to drive five and a half hours or so to get where I'm going, and then wake up at 8 a.m. and cross my fingers for the lottery. All right, I decided to pull over and check out Horseshoe Bend because I've driven by this place more than a dozen times. I've always wanted to see it at night. The conditions aren't perfect right now. It's kind of cloudy, like, all in the direction that I want it not to be. Who knows, it could be a total waste of time, but uh, there's only one way to find out. Let's do it. Being here at night is scary as shit. I know you can't see it right now, but there's a drop-off. Hundreds and hundreds of feet right there. Plus they seem to be doing some kind of uh, construction here, so half the normal site is blocked off. So I guess we'll just have to see what I can get. <laughs> Alright, so that took a little bit longer than I expected, like an hour and a half instead of an hour. But I'm super stoked. Uh, I got some really cool photos out of it, so I'm just gonna make a peanut butter sandwich really quick and get back on the road. Woo! I really should have left a lot sooner. It's now 3.29 a.m. I have to be up by 7.30 because the office opens at 8. So I'll apply for the permit then. Uh, I should know within an hour if I got it or not. And either way, for the first couple hours, my plan won't be any different. The only time it's gonna change is later in the day. For the first couple hours after I apply for the permit, I'm gonna go either check out a canyon that is nearby that I've been wanting to look at for a little while. If I did get the permit, I'll end up staying here another night. And if I don't get the permit, then I'll just leave after I check out the canyon and go back home. But either way, it should be a pretty dope trip. Honestly, I'm pretty stoked with the photos that I got just at Horseshoe Bend, and that wasn't even part of the plan. So I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Uh. Well, four hours is really not a lot of sleep. Oh god, it's cold in here. Okay, nothing to it but to do it. It was 43 degrees when I went to bed. Now it's like 29. Woo! It is brisk! Alright, we're gonna get bundled up. We're gonna get some food in us and drive over to the parking lot. I'm sure there will be some more people showing up, but I'm just gonna, I'm just surprised that I'm the only one here right now. Maybe I'll get lucky. Oh, I've stopped at that gas station. Oh, I've driven by this place so many times and didn't even know this is where, wow. Huh, that's crazy. Well, anyway, I just wanna give you a quick update cause uh, it's really weird. I'm gonna get some food and uh, we'll see what's going on. All right, so here's the sitch. Um, they open at 8, but you have to wait till 8.30 to apply for the permit. They pull them at 9, so I've just got to wait for an hour. I do think she told me that on the phone, but it said they open at 8, so I would just rather play it safe than sorry. It's good thing I brought a book. All right, it's just about time to go in. Let's get inside and see if we can get one of these permits. Call out your name and give you your number. If you don't win, leave. There we go. First lucky winner of the day is lucky 13. Number 15. Number 14. There were like probably 30 people in that room. 
and I was not one of the lucky ones. There's other stuff to do around here, so I guess I'll just do that and head back home today. Maybe try another time. Okay, got my plan figured out. We're gonna get some gas first. Topped up on gas. I'm gonna go to this place called White House. Seems like a pretty cool little spot. Just turned my car off and it was already on. Not as cool as the wave, but you know, cool spot nonetheless. That's kind of the plan for that right now. But it's on the way back home. It'll be a cool hike, a fun little spot to go check out that I've never been to before. And that's always a plus, so let's get to it. All right, we had another baby setback. Just like a tiny baby setback. Puria Canyon, or Puria, whatever it's, what the fuck, I don't know. There's some creek over there. White House Trail is a canyoneering hike and you're gonna have to get your feet wet for that. And I didn't really plan on that because I was really hoping to get the wave permit, so I didn't think ahead like I should have. So anyway, um, I only have one pair of shoes. It's below freezing, so I'm gonna pass on that option today. But next time I come back, I'll be prepared for like applying for the permit situation and also like backup situation a little bit more now that I know more about it. So my third option now, it's also on the way back and also a place I've wanted to check out for a while. It's called Lower Antelope Canyon. I've been to Upper quite a bit, but I've never been to Lower. So uh, I'm gonna go check that out and we'll see what that's about. Lower Antelope Canyon is closed. All week, life has given me a lot of lemons today, but I'm not done yet. There's still a Sedona between me and home and my bike in the back. So we're gonna stop at Sedona and make a shitload of lemonade. Still a little bummed that I didn't get to go to the wave, obviously. I can always try again another time. The silver lining is I got to do two things that I totally wasn't expecting to do at all, and they were both awesome. This trail was so much fun, way more smooth, like super flowy, and then getting those photos at Horseshoe Bend was sick, so I'm stoked. Now it's just time to get back home. So I just came home to a bunch of stuff that I ordered from Amazon before I left. A bunch of brand new photography gear that I'm super excited to open. I can't think of a better way to end the day with a vlog. Thanks for watching, guys.